You know, with Mold King, we're going into the unknown. Ah. We're back with the holy moly 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 shit. This thing kind of looks like a shoe, you know? I wonder if it's like, ah, oh, my shoe size right here. Almost. This is a good template to make a shoe out of too. Let's see if this thing can pop a wheelie go. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Pick Me Up, Scotty. I'm Scotty Hoy, and this is Bemis. Today we're looking at Mold King, the questionable brand. Well, the good thing is they really are paying off designers, which is great. It's a start, man. It's a start, but they do have some questionable build builds. But at least this one, as far as I know, is original. Yay! And if it looks very theme-like, it's kind of obvious where it's coming from. This is their line called Kingland. Not to be mixed up with Disneyland. But anyway, two sets, two reviews. We're gonna do this in a quick style. So here we go. We'll jump into the first one right now. So what you're seeing here first is Mold King's Dream Crystal Parade Float, which is part of their Kingland series. 11002, 912 pieces. So this set and this set and the other two that they have made so far for this Kingland is actually based on Disneyland Shanghai. Yeah, so it's like Mold King sent their employees down there with a sketchbook and just said, just sit there, draw what you can, and let's make some sets. So yeah, this is based on the frozen float in Shanghai. Do they, do they take that as a compliment or are they gonna be like, no, they can't do that. Don't do that, Mold King. Bad Mold King, bad. So many of you have asked me to check out your channels and I've seen a lot on YouTube as well that you have your own brick city and you have a theme park area. And I'm quite surprised that I haven't seen even from Lego, like they don't sell parade floats. I'm like, that's kind of a cool idea. So I guess Mold King kind of stepped up and went, we're gonna make a parade float. And this is what you got. Which you see right here, it's kind of obvious that it's based on Frozen. Am I allowed to say that? You know, the set has no figures that come with it. It's a very, very small build. But you know what? This thing was actually really solid and fun to build, super fast, great for kids, super playable. And you know, it rose so nicely. I was like, wow. So what I'm thinking is they could totally make other themes. They have like the template right here. You build the bottom part first, and then you could totally just switch out the bricks and just like make your own piece here, make your own piece here. You don't have to go with this theme. Do I like this theme? Or do I even have a choice? But this will go really nicely with the castle, you know, that big ass castle that I've reviewed for you guys. It might even go with the Disney one from Lego as well. So if you really are planning to make it like a main street, I'll review this in a second. There's a train station that they have, and they're actually making a train set as well. I don't know if they'll continue this, but it's just kind of a cool little addition to throw into your Brick City if you want to. Let's start here on the front. The most controversial part, we do have an animal here. I have no idea about the copyright issues. You actually do have to build Sfan. We'll call him Sfan, okay? He has rubber antlers and he has sticker for eyes. At least I think I did a decent job on the eyes. So I don't know whether one's kind of higher than the other. So you do have to put stickers on and you have to kind of pre-build him and snap him into place. You might want to just use your original Sven, but I do like how they did the saddle part here where it's attached to these poles here that attaches to this nice little sled. The sled is actually pretty okay. No issues with that. Those are stickers on the seat, by the way, and on the front. And you know, it's pretty simple and it's nice that the whole thing can just kind of pop off. You can take the Sven off you can take the set off here. So you see what I mean? It's like you got this little template now so they can just like totally redesign this part, keep the build, which is solid and do other themes. Themes, yeah, the themes, man. Here's a closer look. So there he is attached to the sled. And I like the color of the sled. That's like a sand green tiles, right? So you do have a couple studs there to put some figures inside. Oh, maybe I'll throw some figures in here if I have time today. And there's the front. Move, Sven. Sven, move. That's a sticker right there. That's what it looks like underneath. That part connects to the float. I mean, if you really wanted to, you can just take this part off. So you just have the sled section there. Sven is pulling nothing now. So yeah, I was actually pretty happy with this build. I was like, oh, super solid. Looks good. Just whether or not this is a questionable copyrighted animal. 
if you're gonna keep playing with this thing, I think just this part might come off pretty easy. But there, you can see how it's designed, right? Pretty simple. It just goes like that, no, like this. <coughs> Once you push it in, like it's, it's tight in there. Those are stickers right here. I know it. I'm always doing a terrible job on stickers. I actually had those off before I've shot this review. So I just wanted to throw them on for you guys, but I left all the stickers off and it looks fine. It just looks a little bit plain, but it's not a huge difference. So you can have the option not to put them on until you finish building it. Here, look at it from the side and it repeats on both sides, but yeah, like you can see, it really does roll just fine. Only these parts right here, this is like pushed down up. I hate when they do that. Like this can pop, push off pretty easily, but it's holding in there pretty good. And I like how they have a little design there of the joystick covering up the wheels. It almost looks like a train wheel design or look to it. If I flip it this way here, or if I show it to you on this camera there, that's what the bottom looks like. So it's really sturdy and durable. So we'll keep rolling here, flip it to the back bumper. There. Same deal with the stickers. And it's, again, mirroring the front. And just so you can see here on the side, it's the same. We're gonna put Sven and the sled back on just to liven this thing up a little bit more. Here we go. Sven can mount down to the studs with the sled on, which is, which is really good. All right. So from the back, there are some steps to go up to the top part of this float. Now, if anything, the clutch on the trans clear blue parts were a little bit tight. So this part was a little bit, you know, it's, Got to push down on some of these pieces. It was kind of tricky getting it in there, but it, it's it's overall, it's pretty simple, man. You can figure it out. So you go upstairs and you got this nice little open area and there are a couple studs there so you can actually put your characters standing in the front there and waving to all your 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 figures, fans. One more time, we look at the back here so you can see the staircase more clear. Now they go up into the unknown. I like how the transparent pieces give it that icy look. But yeah, those are stickers on the purple tiles. I know I did a bad job. The good thing is they're separate from each tile. They're a little bit, some of them maybe a little bit bigger than others. It might be going over tiles or maybe I could have adjusted that a little bit better. But you got them on this side, on the inside here as well. And on the other side, I saw earlier there. Finally, you got the top tower here. There's nothing in there. You could totally put another character in there. There's no studs to hold them down, but that's kind of what it looks like from a top down perspective. So, okay, let's put some figures on here. Might as well use, these are official. Official Mickey and Minnie. How dare you, Scotty? You're gonna insult us by putting on this set. Yeah, why not? Okay, so there's a couple studs here. Ooh, look, he fits just fine there. He'll slide off that chair for sure. You could even put another character back here. Let's see if I can put Minnie here. Oh no, her head would bump into that thing. But it looks like, they had enough room to put one figure. Oh yeah, she can't fit quite in there. But if we took this thing off and just wanted to play with the sled itself, she'll fit there. But we can put her here along the top. Sorry, I don't have Elsang and Abba to put on here. Or Aloaf. Hey, that does look pretty good though with them on there, huh? Let it go, let it go. Don't copyright, strike me. <sighs> Oh, so while we're here, let's just look at dimensions really quick. I'm gonna use my official Lego role play because I can, I can do it. Slide this on here. Oh, look at that. This thing actually fits right on the road. Okay, so that's 32 studs by length. You can see that already. As for the width, it's about like 10 studs. That's the tile count, but it kind of protrudes and sticks out with all the little pieces. So maybe 11 to 12 just to be safe. Here's my one by four bricks. Break yours out. I'm gonna stack this right here, the top of this tower. There, look at that. You can still just drive underneath there. That is 22 bricks in height. So there's the dimensions for this float. Let's look at the next set. So this is Bold King's Paradise Corner Restaurant. Again, from their King Land theme. 11003, 2,616 pieces. No figures for the set, but you do get this little vehicle. And this is based on a confectionery shop in the main street in Shanghai, Disneyland. And man, this, they gotta lose that sticker. But before we dive into this, let's slide this to the side. Let's look at the vehicle real fast, okay? Now, if this is an original build, wow, they did a really good job 
on the build, I was like, oh, it's solid, it rolls just fine. It looked cool, except for the front, the window piece right there. Yeah, that looks really weird. It's maybe too squared off, where well, the whole thing kind of looks squared. Maybe it might not bother you. So this is the car that takes you around the park. I'm pretty sure every park has this kind of vehicle, right? The rooftop is nice and flushed out, but the tiles, yeah, a little bit scratchy there. And I do like how it's held down. It's really secure. It's held down by these pieces up here and the front right on the windshield, so it can pop off like pretty easy if I were to do that, do that, or slide it up here. Just to give you a better idea, that's what it looks like there and underneath. And now I can actually show you the inside here a lot better. So you do have plenty of space to put some characters in the back. I like how they put the gear shift here on the side, the steering wheel held down by a wrench. It's very simple inside there. But this is just like a bonus that comes with the set. So it doesn't open or anything. But yeah, solid. There's the bottom. There's the back. Interesting again, how they kind of put the little poles there just to hold up the rooftop. And it holds up really well. I was like, oh, that is pretty cool. So you just snap this part in like that. Snap this part in here like this. Push down here. Done, vehicle's finished. Rolls really good, right? Let's do a quick dimensions on this. Looks just fine on the road plate here. If I slide this back, line it here. It is around, I'd say like 19 studs. The headlight sticking there. If I were to do the width here, it's kind of like around eight studs. So very nice, nice little small vehicle. Let's check the height. Here's my one by four bricks. Now it's a little bit higher than eight bricks in height. It's just like a tad bit, but just so you can see there to give you a better idea. So there's the vehicle. Let's finally look at this restaurant. All right, the restaurant, here it is from the front. As you can see, it is more of a corner style building. So I show you on this side, that's what it looks like. So you, on this side, that's what it looks like. So it's pretty plain on the side walls and even the back here. If I do it from this angle, you can see there's nothing there. As an overall build, it's totally fine. I had no issues with it. It is a little bit like plain. It's very simple and they didn't use a lot of the space here on the outside, so it's pretty small on the inside. I, I, to be honest with you, I wasn't expecting much. I think if you're gonna get this, you're just going to probably show the front more than actually play with it on the inside. But it's nice that they kind of did some things inside. It felt different enough as a build, so that was kind of refreshing. And I like how they did the, these little pillars, so you do have a gap before you go into this restaurant. And I like the flower pots there, there's four of them. And it just looks, you know, nice and clean. Nothing too extravagant or crazy, except for maybe the awning part right there. Let's look at that closely. So if I pull this down a little bit, you can kind of see like they are using these little poles that go across and you're putting these little stud pieces on there and you're putting these, what, claws, claw looking parts there and it goes all the way around. And then they kind of put these little pipes there. I had to actually cut the pipes. They were too long on each section. It was kind of a cool idea. I'll give him that, that was actually really different. So it is nice for a change as you're doing the build. It doesn't feel like another modular or it doesn't feel like they're copying something or stealing an idea. So you move up here to the main sign, which is like the worst thing about the set. Thank goodness that's a sticker. You can always just take that off. Terrible font. The way they use the yellow and the red, it just doesn't go with this. And they call it confectionery, but, but yet this is a restaurant. The original one is a sweet shop, but I like the sign itself, fine. And you know, they're using three circles kind of obvious who that's supposed to be. But you can see the little blue pieces that's holding the sign. Man, the blue is just kind of just throwing it off a little bit. Maybe that could have just been black or I don't know. I don't know how they could have hid that. But the upper portion here, the look of this piece and like the windows on the side, I like it. I like the look of the second floor on the outside. There, you can see some flowers and the windows. And they're using shields here, like push down on the, these hook pieces. Man, those suck. They weren't the right size. You had to like grind those down or I hope yours, if you do order it, they change that up or fix it a little bit. But I had that issue with mine. I like the overall look here. I think that looks fine on this side as well. Just to give you another idea on the back side here, it's pretty plain, nothing there on the bottom as well. So there you go. That's the outside exterior part for you. The modular, of course, so we can take this off. Does it come off easy? I think it does. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, solid. All right, so we'll put this over here. So now, we can look on the inside, like that. Ooh. The room is tiled, I, I like the pattern. I thought that was okay. So yeah, as you can see, they didn't use any of this. 
So this is super small on the inside. What's nice is they implemented this kind of design that we've seen before. The back wall can just pull off like that. So now from the side, we have a nice view of the inside, which is nice. It is blocked by these pillars here though. And the front door over here, if you can see that, built very solid, nothing swinging loose like I've seen on other sets. And we'll start with the chairs and the table here. So on the table, you got this weird looking cherry flowery thingy. It's supposed to be another one here. I was actually just missing the plant part, but you know, you can see what it looks like without it. You got a couple of sofas there on that side of the wall. On the side, you got a couple chairs there. And I like the chairs just because, you know, they're Mickey, Mickey chairs, Mickey. They're Mickey chairs. Hey man, three circles. Can't do anything about that, right? So right next to the front door, it looks kind of like a, a table. I was gonna say like a buffet thing going on, but no, there's stools there. So you do sit there and eat. Look, they got some pizza, hamburgers, drinks, and some cupcakes. That's a sticker on the pizza. That's cool, it's like a little corner area they can sit down and eat, so I like that. So next to that table, it's squeezed really tight there is the staircase. The steps are a little bit thin, I guess. Those characters will fall off that for sure, but it's nice to put a staircase that goes up to the second floor. The upper staircase is fine, it's like a normal staircase that you go up. So the only thing left in this room is this shelf right there. It's like, I guess that would be considered the confectionery shelf, right? All the sweets and snacks on there. Pretty simple tiles. I think I was missing a piece on there. You can't even tell. So that is a nice touch. Does the colors match? I'm not sure. Could they have done more with this room? Or are you okay with it like this? So what do you guys think of this first floor? Yeah, there's kind of like some mismatched things I see there. The confectionery shelf and even the cherry tables. I would take those out and maybe change it up a little bit. Make it even more modern and clean looking. But hey, I was like, oh, at least I have an interior on this one. Okay, so now let's move up. The second floor. All right, for the second floor here, it actually looks nice just as is. It almost looks like its own little set right here. It's like a little little cottage that you can have for yourself. But this piece right here, which is fine. It's like a little tower. Not, you can't open up, nothing can go inside of it. You can just see quickly the design. Kind of takes up this whole corner piece. So this top already being small up here and putting this here makes the inside of this part super small. Now let's just see if there's anything inside of this upper floor. Take this off, come back to this later. Just surprisingly, you're pretty okay. Up there, oh, there we go. And here we go. Oh man, it's so small in there. There's the hole for the staircase to come up. They didn't tile this floor. Maybe you just thought it's really small. They, they, you're probably just buying this for the outside more than the inside, to be honest. That's what it kind of feels like when, you, when I was building it. But the good thing is the back wall does come off. So now I can go like, ah, oh, show you the nice and close there. Now the rail there was kind of cool how they did that. It's almost like they took the theme from the float and put a little bit in there. So I'm guessing this is where they cook. This is probably just the kitchen. You got the buffet area there. I'm wondering where I put the glass the wrong way. Oh yeah, I did have that the wrong way. Sorry, I just put it back to normal there. The glass should be facing that way. So it looks like you got some desserts there, hamburger, pizza, sticker on it, symbol cabinets and drawers underneath. And I kind of like this, the end here, how it just kind of like drops off there using that corner piece. So at least it has some design to it. And there's nothing on this side of the wall. On this side, it looks like some ovens and you got the sink. Now what's interesting is the faucet and underneath the sink there, they're using like silver printed pieces. Those pieces are actually pretty good. You replace those in the manual, but they'll tell you like, Replace with this silver one in Chinese, but anyway, get the idea there. Cool, nice for a change. Finally, only got this fireplace. I would love to take the fireplace out for you, but it's kind of built into the wall here on the upper part. And the bottom part, if I can open it, let's see if I can get it open this way, yeah. There, the flames and whatever's cooking in there is actually built to the bottom of the plate. So you're kind of building around it and then you put the top section on and it locks it into there. But yeah, this fireplace is probably the best thing about this floor and close that up. There's nothing behind it, just another hollow area, which is actually inside here. And the rooftop uh, can kind of open up, but not really, that's about it. So there you go, empty on the inside there. Here's a little top-down view there, the roofing. So it kind of fits in there nicely, but again, those are all taken up the spot. So this floor is pretty barren, man. Like not much they can do with it. And just so you can see on this side, a little bit of a gap there above the windows. So that's nice, the flower makes up for it, gives it a nice little color there. 
Here's one more wider shot of the whole kitchen there. Put the wall back on here. Close this up. Be like, bam, there you go. Finally, the rooftop, they kind of went crazy doing this thing. I was like, what am I building, man? This is the chimney, which is really bizarre. And the way they built it was so different. So if I take it out here to show you guys, show you the side there, look at that. It has like a little groove there. When you attach it here, it kind of, the groove kind of sits into there. It's really weird. So it kind of had to like slide it downwards and in. You can see where it connects there. It's like, oh, interesting. So that was different. And look at the horns on this rooftop. That's kind of crazy looking right there. Same deal with these circular pieces, the shields. You have to kind of push down really hard to get them in. I like them though. They look fine there. Flushed in and open up. It doesn't open up. Wow, look at that. Okay, cool. So the roof chimney wants to pop out. I can just go like that to show you. How sad is that? There's nothing inside. But I guess you might be able to fit. Yeah, I think you can fit a couple of little, little small things there. You can just mod that yourself and have fun with it. There we go. Let's put this all back. Just to show you the corner right here, that's crazy how the chimney, like, they managed to fit that in there. You gotta give them that. That was pretty clever. Do dimensions really quick. You know, this is on a 32 by 32 base plate. As for the height, break out your one by four bricks. And this is, look at that, 31 bricks in height, just barely there. So, you know, now you can measure up and put this to your city and be like, do I need this? Is it okay? Here's Mickey and Minnie inside the car, as you can see. They look fine, right? Beep, 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 beep. Oh, Minnie's headband will probably hit the rooftop on here. Put this random figure from one of the symbol block cherry blossom series on here. Oh no! Sorry guys, your Disney characters won't fit in there with the rooftop on. But a standard figure can fit perfectly fine in there. The little girl's gonna drive her daddy around the park. Come on daddy! Let's go! Yo! Beep, beep. There's Mickey and Minnie now in the front. Give you guys a sense of the scale there. Come on into the confectionery shop. There's Mickey sitting at the table. A little bit tight when they sit there. There's Minnie in the back with the flowers. Minnie sitting down on the back counter there, which is just fine. And you got Mickey checking out the candies along the wall. Minnie, we need some of these candies. Just to give you another angle here, Minnie sitting down at the counter. The figures will fit fine. So just slide off everywhere. Now we have Mini there at the counter, kitchen counter, buffet. I want some burgers, some sweets. And Mickey over there doing the right thing, washing his hands. Wash your hands, yo. So there they are inside the set. Ah, new shirt, you know what that means. Video's done and we're going to drop these sets now. Let's see if they survive. You guys like my shirt? Remember I did this video with Shannon Lee, Bruce Lee's daughter? Have you guys watched that yet? I'll put the link in the description anyway. I'll get more guests on here. I have a few of them lined up, but just because of the virus and the situation right now, it's hard to get people in the office. But once everything calms down, it'll be fun when we do some guest stuff. Scotty, enough talking. I'm just trying to delay dropping this thing. So we're gonna drop the parade float first. We'll go out to here, yeah? Sven, hold on to your dear life. You get it? Five, four, three, two, one. Oh! Oh look, he got detached from his sled. Oh, you know, to be expected. This is pretty top heavy, man. But it wasn't bad, at least it comes off in sections there. What am I missing? I feel like I'm missing something else. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll slide this out of the way. I'll fix that later. How about the car, right? Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, that held in pretty good. Except for the tire piece. That was so good, I could just be like, yo, here you guys go. And just the rooftop flew off. Yeah. Had to readjust the camera so we can see this thing better. 
What do you think is going to break off, guys? Do you think it's going to survive? Yeah, I think it's going to survive. This thing is pretty, pretty solid, man. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Wow, what a vibration sound that was. Echo! Should we check inside real quick to see if anything fell off? Rooftop, yeah, still intact. Second floor, yeah, still intact. How about that? First floor, ooh, one chair fell out. You ready for this? And that's it. Whole thing held in the place there pretty good. So this part of Mold King's King Land series, you want the rest? Subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comments. And thank you so much for all your support. Now I did put these on the store, pickmeupscotty.com. You can buy them from us if you want. A lot of you have been buying them. And yeah. I'm happy, they're okay, nothing too crazy. It's kind of nice to do something simple for a change. All right, so until next time, you guys, break me out. You know, sometimes with these brands, you just gotta let it go. Let it go. Mold King, no. Mold King, no. Don't do this anymore. This brand never bothered me anyway.